Hey everybody, it's Erica here, ready for Facebook Friday. I'm coming to you a little bit early today because I have four projects instead of three. And as some of you may know, I have to be completely done by three o'clock. My daughter gets out of school at three o'clock and today she has a play date and I'm bringing somebody home with us. So of course, I have to make sure that I am there. Now I'm not seeing you guys. Oh, there you are. I'm seeing you jump on. It's taking a little bit longer today. Hopefully I'm connected to the right internet. <laughs> One never knows. Let's see, am I in the right? Yep, okay, I'm in the right place. I know, a little bit early, a little bit early. Hello, thank you for joining me. Hi, Kathy, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited about today's projects. Um, you know, as the catalog um, winds down, I tend to get a little restless. I am, uh, quite ready for new things. Let's just put it that way. So sometimes as we get to the end of the catalog, I'm like, oh, what can I come up with now? But Stampin' Up! issued a sales challenge to us. And the challenge is to see who can sell the most rooted in nature stamp sets. So you know me, I was like, oh yeah, we're taking that. Uh, that is going to be Facebook Friday. And it just, I don't know, it energized me and got me excited. The, I have to be completely honest, I've barely played with rooted in nature. It was brand new, last annual catalog in June. It's a beautiful set. It was one of the ones that we could pre-order, but it just never, I don't know, I just never played with it very much. So I was really excited to pull it out. If you're wondering why we're doing a sales challenge for this random stamp set, it actually isn't too random. This stamp set right here called Lovely as a Tree is retiring. And this, if you don't know, is the oldest stamp set in the current catalog, let me show you. In this current catalog, this is the oldest stamp set. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. Um, it was actually created in 2001, which is older than my oldest daughter. So, you know, that's pretty old. Um, and so it has been kind of um, a mainstay and everybody thought it would never retire. So this year, um, when the new catalog came out and demonstrators got to look at it, there was kind of like this moment of silence for Lovely as a Tree. Everybody could not believe it was retiring. So Stampin' Up! did a retire retirement party for Lovely as a Tree last week with demonstrators and everybody was sharing projects and stuff. And they said um, they were gonna plant a tree in honor of Lovely as a Tree over on the Stampin' Up! home office um, grounds. And I thought that was such a cool idea. And then they said that they were gonna do a challenge for demonstrators who sold the most, they would have their name on a plaque next to the tree. Okay, well that sweetened the deal for me. So that's why I have moved on to, I'm not doing retired this week, I'm doing rooted in nature. Rooted in nature is carrying over into the new stamp set. And the reason why they're connected, and you'll see, let's see, let's look at, it's a two set, two case set. And you can see the similarities, right? And the idea is that this is the new guy and we're welcoming him in as we send off the old guy. So that's why they're connected. So this week, not only am I going to show you a ton of projects for Rooted in Nature, I'm also going to give away three of these. One, two, three. Brand new, lovely as a tree. If you don't have it, you need it before it's gone. So I'm giving away three of them with some Happiness Blooms dots. Um, the way you can win these is by sharing the video, which I see some of you have already done. Thank you so much, sharing it on Facebook. Um, also by going over to pinkbuckaroo.com, scrolling to the bottom and entering your information on the little widget at the bottom. I'll pick three winners next Friday, okay? So lovely as a tree. We're wishing it well in its retirement, it's leaving. If you wanna make sure that you get it, make sure you order it um, before the end of the catalog period. Stampin' Up! guarantees stamp sets until about the 25th, um, and then they cease production of any stamp set. I have a feeling they've probably made quite a few lovely as a trees as they're gearing up for everybody, all the demonstrators getting excited about it. Um, so that's, how today evolved and I was really excited like I said I needed some inspiration I needed some I don't know something to get me going and that was really what it was and so today we're gonna do lovely as a tree I have also decided I am 
I'm done ignoring my new products. So we're gonna start playing with some new products today. Now you can't order them until June 4th. However, um, the things that I've used today, if you put in an order between now and Monday using the host code, you will get the, these make and takes for free. And in those make and takes packets will include some of this new product, paper. I have paper, ribbon, um, I can cut the, the dies for you. So all you'll need are the inks and the rooted in nature, okay? All right, so before I flip the camera around, I'm just gonna run through my spiel real quick. Today is the very last day for the Flowering Desert class. This class includes five projects. You can get it with or without the stamp set, and it also includes a 35-minute video tutorial and step-by-step -step PDF, okay? Now, not only am I offering that one, I'm offering the Follow Your Dreams class to go. These are to go, you guys. They mail um, to you. They come with a PDF, they come with a video. This one has a 42 minute video um, to learn how to do different watercolor techniques. Let's see, I, the one in the front's really my favorite, those watercolor um, feathers. And it features the Follow Your Dream stamp set and framelits. If you want both of them, they actually ship together and you save on shipping. So that's a bonus this month. And there's lots of freebies thrown in. Um, this one features one of the new in colors. This one right here. This is um, Purple Posy, right guys? <laughs> purple Posy. And this one features Rococo Rose, which you can see there in that stripe. So you'll get those pieces in your class kit and you'll be one of the first customers with in color cardstock in your hands. All right, so I've got that. Um, I let's see should I flip the camera around to show you the rest of this I feel like maybe I should no let's do prizes prizes from last week I'm remember I'm giving away three lovely as a trees this week I will choose them next week you can earn them by sharing or entering over my blog so last week's winners are getting family and friends Lisa Carter you are one winner and Sandy Perry. I have both of your addresses, so no need to email me. I will get these in the mail to you as soon as I can, okay? Congratulations, ladies. Um, I I love to give that stuff away, you guys. Um, okay, one more thing before I turn the... No, I think I'll turn the camera around. <laughs> yeah, let's turn. Okay, close your eyes. It's going to get a little shaky. And then, you know, I have to move this light... We need the Jeopardy music while I'm working. Uh-oh. Please hold. Ooh, having all kind of technical difficulties today. Ooh, and my phone's giving me some warnings. Okay. All right. Here we go. Not ready yet. I got to turn it. Uh-oh. got to turn it. <laughs> there we go. All right. So if you're just joining me, the reason I am coming to you a little bit early today is because I'm doing four projects. Usually I just do three. Let's make sure that cord doesn't hang down, get you guys all situated. Usually I do three projects, but today we're doing four projects. Um, I sat down with the Rooted in Nature stamp set and could not stop. And I have six projects actually, but we're only going to do four today. All right, so one more reminder, the Everything is Rosy kit, remember, well, it's called a medley. It's not a kit, you guys. It's a medley, open-ended, comes with all the paper. I won't run through all the details with you again, but just know, look, yesterday I made all the birthday cards for my team, my June birthday, um, yes, um, for, what am I trying to say? My team's June birthdays, I made them all cards, and look, I still have a ton of stuff left. So it really does have quite a bit. Here's one of the projects that's in the PDF when you order the Everything is Rosie from me for free. I mean, <laughs> when you order it from me, you get the PDF for free. The kit's not free, I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> you actually have to order that. But I don't think you would be disappointed. It is quite amazing. Now, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, Oh, darn it. I meant to do something and I didn't do it. Well, all right. Well, we'll just we'll just move on. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, every Friday, most Fridays, I go live with three projects and I have a PDF that goes with them. So all the measurements for today's projects are here on the PDF. Everything listed here. 
Um, I want you to notice something on the PDF, okay? So Rooted in Nature, here's the stamp set. It has coordinating framelits, which are in this basket right here. And, okay, maybe they're not right here. Yeah, here they are. They have the framelits, or dies as we're calling them now. When they're offered as a bundle in the catalog, you actually save 10%. And this is a big set. Um, when you buy them separately, you pay 10% more. The bundle, these are carrying over into the new catalog, but the bundle price will not be in the new catalog. So if you want to get that, that bundle price where you save 10%, you've gotta get it before the end of this current catalog, which ends on June 3rd. Now I noted that here in the, just, you know, the, um, the list of the products that I'm using. The first one is the bundle. The second one is just a stamp set. So if you wanted to space it out and buy the stamp set now and maybe the dies in the summer or something, you can totally do that. I just want you to be aware that if you buy them together now, you save 10%, but as soon as the new catalog comes out, that, that price will not be in the new catalog. Okay, so it's three pages this week. On the side, there are all the links of everything that you need, um, the two classes that I'm offering. My paper and ribbon shares are open, you guys. Many of you have been asking me about those. Um, you can either email me for the link or click on this one. It should take you there. Um, and those that closes June 3rd also. You know, I thought I turned that fan down. I can still see the camera shaking. Let's try that again. And then, is that all I wanted to tell you on that page? Yes, the Everything is Rosy, there's the details on that. In Color Club, that begins ju in June. Signups are here. You can read all the details on that as well there. Okay, whew, done with the announcements. You know, I left the classroom five years ago, but I still feel like I'm teaching, like in, I'm in the classroom when I'm with you guys. <laughs> all right, so let's look at what we're making today. Here's my basket of just goodness. Oh, there's something else I meant to mention to you. And it says right here, anybody who buys the Rooted in Nature stamp set, it doesn't have to be the bundle, it can, or it can just be the stamp set. Anybody who buys that from me between now and June 3rd, I'm gonna send you a bolt of the braided linen trim for free. Um, this goes really well with a stamp set because it's kind of rustic and it's, um, I don't know, I kind of think of it as masculine. So if you ordered that, uh, if you order Rooted in Nature, anytime between now and June 3rd, I will mail you one of these for free as a thank you for helping me. Um, that being said, it's right here. I have it right here in bold. The host code is here. And I also want to mention something else to you guys. If you want the make and takes for free, the order, you have to place an order by Monday, this Monday at midnight, right? Your minimum order has to be $30 and you have to use that host code. Then on Tuesday morning, I get up, I count, I cut everything, and I mail them on Wednesday. Now, if you put in a really big order, say you've, you know, you've decided to splurge or it's your birthday or whatever, and your order is over $150, do not use that host code. That orders over $150 get free product. They're called Stampin' Rewards. I will still send you the free stuff, but I want you to get even more free stuff to reward you for putting in a large order, okay? So there's all that those details right there. Um, let me show you what we're making. So the four make and takes that you will get for free include these three cards that we're getting ready to make and a treat box. I could not make a 3D item, you guys. I figured we needed a 3D item. Then tomorrow, I have a video for this guy. Watch this. Uh, it's kind of fancy. Mm-hmm. It's a sliding window card, slide, a pool slide. I don't know what the official name is, but I have a whole video already filmed and that will go tomorrow, okay? So we're not making that one today. And then this one will go on Sunday and this is a Z Fold card, all right? So I just couldn't fit them all in today. You know, I mean, we only have a certain amount of time. Okay, so the colors that I'm using are based on this beautiful paper right here that is in the new catalog. The catalog goes live June 4th, and this is called Garden Lane Designer Series Paper. And when you first look at it, you're like, meh, I'm okay, I don't need that. But let me tell you, I, I think this paper is what really got me super excited this week. It's all the different greens that Stampin' Up! has. Look at this one. Isn't that just beautiful? And of course, on the back, this one too. 
Um, it's just all these greens and it, it also coordinates with the magnolia paper that's coming out. So I think this is really good for lots of different projects. Anytime you need a green, something green, this paper will do the trick for you. It's just really beautiful. This one too, I love this with a darker background. So that was what I used kind of as my jumping off point. And let me show you all the greens. We've got garden green, old olive, soft sea foam, which has become like my favorite color. Um, and Mossy Meadow and Pear Pizzettes, all right? So those are the five greens that we're gonna use. Of course, Soft Suede Crumb Cake and Early Espresso, all right? And I don't think we're using the markers today. I use those on my other videos that I already filmed for you that will go live tomorrow and Sunday. All right, and I'm gonna show you these dies here in a little, little while when we get started because I am using some new dies also from the new catalog. All right, I have not looked to see if you guys are asking any questions, hopefully. Oh, Laurie, yeah, Laurie, she says she hesitated on the um, rosy kit, the medley because of the cost, got it anyway, and yeah, it is amazing. I know, it is stunning in person, and I actually almost wanna order another one just to have more of that paper, it's so beautiful. All right, let's get started stamping, you guys. And I didn't tell you about the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. And gosh, I forgot to tell you this too. We'll talk about that at the very end. How about that? Um, June 4th is the day the catalog goes live and I am planning on doing something all day. I won't be live all day, but I'll be going live several times during that day to celebrate the catalog. Okay, there, I made the announcement. No more details to come soon on that. All right, let's get started. The first um card that we're gonna make features this tree right here and i have to tell you that since i've been playing with this oh we are using the markers yeah we do need them since i have been playing with this um this uh stamp set you know i walk to school with my daughter every morning i have been staring at the trees and looking at them and just <laughs> noticing how similar they are to the trees in this stamp set they just really i don't know it's just has sparked my imagination with the trees. Now this stamp set, you can ink lots of different ways. Right now we're gonna use stamp and write markers and I am using Mossy Meadow and Early Espresso, both found in the Neutrals Stamp and Write Marker Pack. And we're gonna actually stamp it on that soft sea foam color that I told you I am in love with right now. Um, using markers is a great way to incorporate, m incorporate more than one color on your stamps. And it's one of the first things I learned how to do as a stamper. And I just was so like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. And so I encourage you, if you haven't done it before, to give it a try. Our Stampin' Right markers are perfect for this. The, now tomorrow, in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna show you another way to kind of add different colors to your, I'm gonna run that off. Okay, just make sure. To um, add different colors to your stamps. And one thing I meant to do, let's see. Well, we're just gonna go for it. Using the Stamparatus on this is good because then you can do it a couple of times, you know, if the ink isn't dark enough. I was gonna say something else. <sighs> Give it a little puff, but I can't remember what it was. All right, there we go. I like it with a soft sea foam in the back because it just adds another green to it. You know, if you when you do it in white, you don't get that. You get just white through those little those little peaks, but I don't know. Oh, hello, we need the framelit. That would that would help. Or the dye. We're supposed to call it dyes now. I know. My daughter has a play date today. She's very excited. Well, let's move it because this is not wanting to line up. And so I have to be there. She'll be very unhappy with me if I'm not there on time. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you guys, we are counting down the days to summer. We have our, we had our last uh, volleyball practice this week, our last volleyball game, Saturday games, I should say. Oh, hello, mother. My mom says that stamp and write markers are great for drawing too yes she's an artist and she likes stamping up products too all right so now we're going to layer it up we're going to use a 
Where are my baby dimensionals? Here they are. We're going to use a, dropping things, don't mind me, these mini dimensionals, I guess you could use big dimensionals, but for the, the little trunk, I'm going to put cut one in half and put it there. Now I told you guys I've been staring at the trees this week like a crazy person. And my daughter, even just this morning on the way to school, she said, mommy, look at that tree. It looks so different. And it was, it's a tree that doesn't lose its leaves. So it was all green, but it had new growth on the outside of it. And so all the, the leaves on the outside were a really light green. And so I just thought, oh wow, she's even noticing it too. And I don't know if you guys saw my post on Monday. We're going to stamp the sentiment in early espresso on Whisper White. And I'm going to give it a few seconds to dry so that I don't smear it. But on Monday on my blog, I posted some more flowering desert projects along with a photo of a cactus that's here in my neighborhood. I live in South Texas where cactus are prominent and they were blooming a couple of weeks ago. You guys, do you see that? Okay. Full disclosure, Fast Fuse retired, went away, right? And I am madly in love with it, but look what it's doing. You can't get it anymore, so that's all right. I'm not embarrassed that it's doing that because it's gone. You can't order it, and maybe that's why. But look at that. It's been doing that to me a lot, and I'm wondering if it's because mine is old, because I stockpiled it. I don't know. That's so weird. It's doing that a lot. So, okay, there's a DSP four by five and a fourth on a mossy metal card base. I cut out a vellum stitched rectangle. I'm gonna put that there. That kind of, and look, I think this is smaller. Yeah, it's smaller, but that's okay. We're going with it. Um, I think that I was supposed to use the third largest rectangle. Um, the vellum kind of tones down the paper, makes it a little bit less busy. Now I have a piece of early espresso and I know I'm telling you a story, I'm gonna come back to it. <laughs> um, early espresso, I have embossed it with a corrugated embossing folder. And when you use the corrugated embossing folder, you guys, it kind of stretches out the paper. So I always cut it a little bit longer and bigger than I need and then I cut it off. Cause it kind of, not, it doesn't stretch it, it shrinks it actually, you know, cause it's going up and down. So anyway, we're putting that there. We're gonna put this here after we cut these and I'll tell you my story while I'm cutting them apart. So the beautiful, beautiful cactus blooming in my neighborhood. We have several areas um, when the developer put in the neighborhood, we have several areas that just have these giant prickly pear cactus and they're beautiful. Um, and so I took pictures, I posted that um, on Monday. And then today on my walk, I noticed that there's a magnolia tree in our neighborhood that is blooming. And you don't see magnolia trees very often here. I know in Memphis where my mom lives, there's quite a few magnolia trees, but this is like just one random lonely <laughs> um, magnolia tree. And it was blooming and I stopped to take pictures of it because as you may know, do you guys see what I'm doing? I'm just cutting these out with the tiny scissors. I'm just cutting them out fitting the rectangle. As you may know, there is a giant, beautiful, amazing suite of products in the new catalog that's called, called Magnolia Lane. So I took lots of pictures so I could use it as inspiration. There were lots of bees on that magnolia tree. Let me tell you, I had to be real careful. All right, now I'm using little, and I may not have put those up, high enough. I'm using little glue dots because you know how I feel about liquid glue. We're frenemies. We don't get along very well. All right, so I have them kind of hanging off. This is the largest stitched um, oval in crumb cake. Hello, everybody who is joining us. Oh, Carla, you're sweet. Uh, you know, I was probably pretty okay in the beginning, but as the years went on, you know, teachers get tired. Yeah, and especially when a teacher has three small kids at home. <laughs> so I'm not sure how good I was there towards the end, but thank you. I did enjoy it. You know, like with any job, it had a lot of things that didn't involve kids and teaching that you had to deal with. And 
I'm sure you guys know teachers who are dealing with all of that. Now, this ribbon, it has a weird name. It's called the Magnolia Lane Ribbon Combo Pack. And I'm sure it has a different official name, but that's what it's listed as in the catalog. And it reminds me of our woven ribbon. Um, I like it a lot. It's like a real light crumb cake with a white, um, you know, trim on the outside. And it comes in a pack with a dark, like a, I don't know if it's Mossy Meadow or Old Olive, a dark thread. And we're going to use it here in a little while. Now you might notice that... On the photo you see today on my blog, I use the ribbon all the way across. But then I realized if I'm gonna send you guys these make and takes, I won't have enough ribbon if I do that. So I changed the bow to do that because we're only li we're limited to what we can order. Also, demonstrators are limited. So <laughs> I don't wanna run out before I give everybody their ribbon. All right, there we go. What do you guys think? Be strong, be happy, be you. That's a great card for anybody. And if it was for a guy, you could just leave the bow off, right? I don't know, I like it. All right, so card number one is done. I hope you guys like it. Let's move on to card number two. And boy, let me tell you, I wish I could turn that fan back up. In the summer, it gets very warm in here, but it makes the camera shake. All right, so how many of you have Lovely as a Tree already? Do you already own it? The one that's retiring? I will be honest and say that I have it, but I've never actually used it. It just is not, I don't know, my style, I guess, is what I want to say, but people love it. So I don't want to offend anybody by saying it's not my style because it is a great stamp set. I just have never used it. And I think a lot of people are sad that it's leaving. Okay, moving on to project number two. This time, we're gonna use the wood slice. I guess that's the official name, this one right here. See, it's a wood slice. And if there's another name, you guys tell me. Now, I've already shown you once, this shape right here is from the stitched nested labels. Did I get it right? Let me see, let me, let me check myself because that is such a weird name to me. The stitched, well, I think I have it wrong on here. Stitched nesting label dies. Whatever they're called, they are my new favorite of everything. They are awesome, they are strong. I told you they're not like the, the um, stitched rectangles. You know, our stitched rectangles are very delicate and they don't cut through thick things very well. Um, you can only cut through one piece. And for somebody like me who cuts tons of class kits, I need them to cut, you know, a lot of stuff. So these are really strong and they cut really well. So you can see there they are. They're awesome. It looks like I may be missing one. I did use one on a project a little while ago, the big one. I think it's missing. So anyways, these you will probably get tired of seeing them because I'm going to use them all the time. So that's what this is right here. Okay. Now, one funny thing... <laughs> For this stamp set, this bundle, is that the, there are a lot of, let's look at them, there are a lot of dies in this set, right here, see, tons, but there's not one for the tree slice. I'm not sure why, <laughs> maybe they just had a limited amount, maybe they didn't design it to be cut out, but whatever, I want to cut it out. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to fussy cut it, but then... Don't get upset. On the last project we do today, I'm gonna to show you how you can use it and not fussy cut it. But just know there's no dye that matches it. I'm not sure why. Now, if you go to say Pinterest and you type in rooted in nature, you're gonna find so many amazing ideas. I really try not to do that when I am designing for something like this for a class or Facebook Friday because then when I see something I like it's all I can think about and I don't necessarily want to copy somebody if I'm showing you guys new projects. So I didn't do that until I was done, almost done actually. Um, but there are some really cool projects using this just kind of like along the backgrounds. It's really neat. You know what, before we do that, let's do this. This is a little... What am I using? Old Olive this time. I think I told you all of these colors are listed 
I'm not seeing, oh my goodness, I wasn't seeing any comments. A wood cookie? <laughs> Tony, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh, my thing was frozen. I missed all your comments. I'm so sorry. I thought, wow, nobody's saying anything. Um, I got all my colors straight from the pack of DSP. It um, has them listed there. It also has them listed in the catalog. Now, because we're making four projects today, I've already done this ahead of time. I stamped three of these in old olive ink on old olive cardstock. And yes, look, there they are. They're already done because we have the framelit. No fussy cutting on that. So now the only thing left that we need to do is stamp the sentiment, which is a really good font. Let's make sure I have it on straight. You are wonderful. And look at that font. My oldest daughter, she's in high school. She is a sophomore. She's going to be a junior next year. And she isn't, well, I say she, she's going to be an art major. She's an amazing artist, but she's really good at lettering, hand lettering. And she could totally write that. And it would look just like that. I, however, do not have those skills. Thank goodness for stamps. <laughs> Okay, now I've cut some of this paper, and remember, these are listed on the PDF over at pinkbuckaroo.com. This one is one inch, oh goodness, oh goodness, one inch by five and a half, and it actually looks like it's a little too long. Someone wasn't paying attention when she cut. All right, so we're gonna just do that one flat. Here's the corrugated, um, embossing folder again. I feel like my fast fuse is going to rip this cardstock too. Am I going to have to officially retire my fast fuse? I'm interested to know if any of you are having weird problems with the fast fuse that you stockpiled before it was all gone. That piece is five by three and three fourths. And now here's a little skinny piece, half an inch by, we'll see. Oh, I put it on the wrong side, didn't I? Well, all right, we're going with it. I was trying to use that pattern. Well, this will look kind of cool too, maybe. Um, I don't like that. You know what, I'm cutting a new piece. Hold on, hold on just a second. And I was asking you guys something and now I don't remember what it was. Let me find that paper. What does it look like on the back? I should really get some, um, Jeopardy music for the times when I screw up. Let's see, I'm gonna do it a little bit thicker. I think maybe five eighths instead of half an inch. Now, Erica, put it on the right side. This little side is like, um, and now that looks too thick, whatever, we're going with it. Um, this kind of looks quilted, if I can get it straight. Those little quilt squares, right? You guys see that? Trim it off. There we go. All right, now let's start layering up these guys. I'm gonna start with our wood cookie. <laughs> I like that name. That's really cute. Wood cookie. Uh, Art2 says goodbye for the last time. Mom, my mom is retiring, you guys. She's retiring and I guess it's like the last week. Goodbye, Art2. I'm sad for you guys, but I'm happy for us because mom's moving back to Texas. Mom and dad, I should say. All right, so now we've got these. And I noticed one of them looked a little funky, so I'm gonna stick that one in the back. We won't look at the funky one too close. And I'm gonna layer these, and I'm wondering, I did. Okay, dimensionals, many dimensionals. Let's give it some dimension. Oh, Mary, thank you for asking. She's saying, how was the house hunt? My mom and dad were here over Easter, right? Was it Easter that they were here? She found, they found a house. One mile from us, there's a new neighborhood going up. And we only went over there 17 times while they were here during the four days that they were here. But um, it was pretty certain from the beginning that it was perfect. So it has um, a little bit of a weird... Well, not really a weird, there was a weird sales guy. That's one of the things. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It, you know, it's hard. She's lived in, she's lived in Memphis for 20 years now and um, making that decision. She has a beautiful home there and it's hard, you know, to give all that up, but 
hey, she's doing it for us. She's gonna be close to the grandkids. All right, I've put adhesive on the back of this. I'm gonna take my linen thread. I'm gonna wrap it around just twice, I think. I don't know if she's still watching. She'll get mad at me for saying there was a weird sales guy. Aren't there always weird sales guys though? Good gracious. We actually found the house further away from us in a different development. See how I kind of just am gonna do this? You know what, I don't even like that. I want it messy. Let's do it again. I'm just gonna kind of lay it down. Well, it's still wanting to be nice and neat. Oh, there, that's kind of messy. Hmm. Let's try it again. Now, I told you I have a friend that does this. She does that and then she just kind of lays it on. But I don't know, that's too messy for me. Um, we found the house. Oh, there she is. She's still watching. He was very weird. I don't want to say it. It didn't matter. He ended up being, okay. Sales guys are weird. They're aggressive and they're trying to make money. I get it, but still, it's weird. Okay, there. So just mess around with your linen thread until you get it where you like it. See, it's just kind of a little nest back there. Um, but we found the house. She was very excited. She wanted gas, a gas um, range. So this neighborhood had that, she's very happy and everything's brand new. And she's gonna have an art studio. So of course she loves it. All right, right there. What she doesn't know is that the grandkids are gonna come live with her, um, you know, like a lot. <laughs> and she's gonna say, I don't know why this thread is giving me such fits today. And she's gonna say, what did I do? No, I think, I think it'll be don't worry, they're not little anymore, so I can't dump them on you. They're big and fun now. Okay, now that I'm talking about random things, I know, but you know what, Laura, you never know, you never know, that's why I don't wanna say it. Okay, <laughs> almost done. However, I feel like we needed a little something here, and we've got these embellishments. These are called the Bird Ballad Trinkets. The reason that they are called that is because the suite that it goes with is called bird ballad so they go with that look at them there there's four of them and they're so stinking cute they're like i don't know copper or something and oh, they're just really cute and i can see using all of them right but right now we're going to use this one okay and i'm going to use a glue dot if you feel like a glue dot is going to fall off oh you're going to buy easels for all the girls mom well sweet Ellie has a, her driver's license, so she can just cart them back and forth between your house and mine. Yes, summers are gonna be much better now. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope you learned something while I was talking about all those random things, but here's the second card. Pretty easy, right? Now I'm gonna show you in a little while how you can stamp that wood slice or wood cookie onto just a circle, and it looks totally fine. So if you don't want a fussy cut, you've got that, okay? All right, card number two. What do you guys think? Hope you liked it. And card number three. All right, card number three. Now let me move all these dirty stamps so that they don't get ink on things that we don't want them to get ink on. Now look at this card. I want you guys to know that I am a primary colors girl, brights. I like my favorite color family is the brights. You know, Melon Mambo, all that. So when I saw Soft Sea Foam come out last, last year when we had the color fresh, I was like, meh, I'm good, it's too light. But I have I have to apologize to Soft Sea Foam and all of its fans because it is amazing. It is a beautiful, beautiful color and I love it. In fact, my class that I was just showing you, we use Soft Sea Foam in there too. Look at how beautiful that is. And there's those Stitched nested dies. I know that's the flowering cactus class, but I am having a hard time not using soft sea foam. All right, so now we're gonna once again, we're gonna have a soft sea foam card base. And here's another piece of that DSP. DSP stands for, who knows, designer series paper, AKA pattern paper. And I'm just gonna adhere it to the card base four by five and a fourth. Okay, then I've got another piece of vellum here, again, just to kind of neutralize that paper a little bit and make it less busy. Um, just a little section right here. Um, two by five and a fourth is this piece. See how that just kind of softens it a little? Maybe neutralize wasn't the word, maybe it was soften. 
Um, I'm trying to read y'all's comments and focus at the same time. It's not, I'm not doing a very good job of it. Okay, so another piece of soft sea foam, and we're gonna use the three leaves, and I want you to look at the framelits, the dies. There are the outline framelits to cut them out, but there's also these which put texture. If you don't wanna stamp it, you can lay these down. I don't know, can you do them together? Mm, maybe, I haven't done that before. I don't think you can. You do that, run it through, it embosses those layers, and then you cut it out, which is really, really neat and it makes that more of a realistic looking leaf okay so soft sea foam cardstock what time is it how am i doing oh okay i'm doing good soft sea foam ink and i'm gonna do each of them about three times i don't think my piece is big enough but that's okay because i've already done it ahead of time maybe it'll be big enough i've already cut them all out so that we didn't have to sit here while I was cutting them out. Look, I'm gonna do a few extras. Mm, there we go. Fill up your little uh, soft sea foam piece. And now, by the magic of Facebook Live, I have them already cut out. I did not use the embossing piece, I just used the, um, the outline, okay? So here they all are. And then you just want to arrange them. And I started with the bigger ones because you can fill in the smaller ones as you go, okay? So just a dimensional in between, and they're all just kind of going at different angles. Let's see, we'll do this one like that. And then let's get some more dimensionals. I know, Susan, they are very excited. Everybody's excited, you know, my parents moved away as soon as I got married. They moved back to Memphis, which is where they're from. And um, so I really, it's been 20 years and I can't really even almost imagine what it's gonna be like to have them close. It really is amazing. And everybody's excited. My husband is even super excited. Um, he just, he, I think he recognizes the specialness of the relationship my girls have with my mom and me and we're close. So it's just, I don't know, things are gonna be different for sure but good in a different in a good way all right so these triple leaves i've cut them apart so i can kind of fill in these spaces and just do it however you feel like like it doesn't have to be exactly like mine it can be you know a little bit different now for those of you just joining me thank you i appreciate you joining us um any orders over $30 placed between today and Monday at midnight will get all four, actually, not three, I've been saying three, all four of today's make and takes for free. I'll mail them to you next week. And anybody who buys Rooted in Nature from me before the end of the catalog, that's gonna go, that offer goes all the way until June 3rd. I will send you a bolt of braided linen trim for free. Okay, so there, we've got like this just falling little cascading beautiful little flowers. Now we're gonna stamp the sentiment and I almost feel like I should use my stamparatus for this, but we're not, we're, we're just gonna move forward. This one, look at this beautiful framelit. This looks like it might come from the one that I love, right? The nesting, stitch nesting labels, but look, it's different. See how it has this point up here at the top? It's from a different set, and I have to look at my notes, you guys. I don't know the names of these things yet. Wild Rose, I think. Let me look, I don't wanna tell you the wrong thing. Wild Rose Dies, and it does have a stamp set to go with it. So that's where that is from, okay? All right, available June 4th. I was saying June 3rd for so long, I have to stop every time I say it to make sure I'm saying the right thing. All right, let's use, let's see, Early Espresso. And we're going to stamp the other big scripty font sentiment um, called Thinking of You, called, that says <laughs> Thinking of You. And I'm gonna do it over here on the right side because I wanna add a leaf. All right, not bad, not bad. I wanna add a leaf right there. Actually, that was perfect. 
Love it when that happens. Thank you, Shannon. I appreciate it. Um, Julie, this is Sneak Peek DSP from the new annual catalog that comes out June 4th. It's called Garden Lane. And it's one you might overlook. It's all greens, but look how beautiful it is for these kind of nature cards. Oh, I gotta stop touching that. All right, one more little leaf right here. Hmm, let's do like that. There we go. Now we're gonna add, nope, I'm gonna show you another sneak peek. Okay, this one is really cool. This is called Woven Threads Trim, right? So it's really pretty, but when you pull this off, look what you have. Can you guys see that? Little tassels, aren't they cute? So it could be, you know, on a scrap of page or whatever like that, but you can also pull the thread and you've got tassels and they're flat tassels. So they're not gonna bulk up your project. So I'm gonna cut just two of these off right here see how cute they are so cute june 4th those will be available june 4th but they will come in your make and take kit if you put your order in i provide everything but the stamps and ink all right now where did i put the bow i'm going to put a little glue dot right there put my little tassels right there oh well then you're going to love this paper julie this has I don't know if it's every single green that Stampin' Up! has, but pretty much almost every single green. All right, now this is the braided linen trim that I'm gonna send you for free if you order the, the Rooted in Nature. And it, you know, I love the linen thread that we have. I use that more than anything, probably. And this is kind of a step up from that. It's thicker, but it's very similar in texture and color. All right. And we're just gonna put that there so those little like tassels are hanging from that it's very earthy I think I think it's all quite earthy Wow Mary Wow I can't see the rest of your comment you lived with your mom for about 46 of your 50 years now I don't and it's hard oh that makes me sad yeah I know my mom and I have always been pretty close even with however many miles apart we are. Um, these are the adhesive backed sequins and they come in one of these green colors. So I'm just gonna add a few like that. And ta-da, we are done with project number three. We're getting done pretty quickly today. All right, so what do you guys think? You know, I just love it. And I think I love this card because of that soft sea foam. And then the, the dark early espresso with it is very pretty. All right, one more. And I'm gonna get a drink, hold on. Now earlier when we started, I said, oh no, oops, I forgot something. What I forgot to do is to make what we're making next one more time just to make sure I had my measurements right. <laughs> so now we're gonna just roll the dice and see if I got it right the first time I wrote it down. Because believe me, you guys, a lot of times when I write it down, it's wrong. I know, imagine that. Um, a lot of times. So <laughs> I like to do a little run through to make sure my measurements are right, but we'll see. Okay, this, I had to do a 3D, 3D item for us because we always do 3D items. Um, that's kind of my favorite thing and you guys um, come looking for that. So I was at Target yesterday and of course by the counter, look what they had of course, right? Always, this is my husband's favorite treat. So I thought, what could we put in here that would be like for a guy, you know, kind of masculine and Reese's peanut butter cups. Now, if your person is allergic to peanut butter, you're gonna have to find something else. I mean, peanuts, but we're not allergic to peanut. We devour peanut butter around here and those especially. Okay, where is my next crate? We're gonna start, we're gonna make the box first. And I do have a second piece just in case we need it. Um, this is where I told you we're gonna stamp the wood slice on a circle. It looks fine, right? I did it on the stitch circle. So 
If you don't want to fussy cut it, just do it on a circle. All right, now I definitely need my notes here for this. And you're gonna need this page if you want to make this. The measurements are all right here. And this is on my post today, pinkbuckaroo.com. It is on under the last photo, okay? And it's hyperlinked and large. Hopefully you'll be able to find it quite easy. This is Mossy Meadow, one of our new greens in the neutrals. And it measures six and three fourths by six and a fourth, okay? So it's almost a square, but it's not a square. On the long side, you're gonna score it at half an inch, one and an eighth, and six and an eighth. That um, racist, it was a funky width, so there's a lot of eighths in here. It wasn't half an inch, it was a little more, so that's why we have a lot of eighths. Now the short side, turn it over, and you're gonna score at two and a fourth, two and seven eighths, five and an eighth, and five and three fourths. It looks right, we shall see. No, I think it's right. Actually, the first time I made it, it wasn't right, and then I fixed it. That's, that's what, you know, sometimes things just, you know, like the stars align and things are perfect. But the other half of the time, they are not. All right, burnish all your lines, and we're gonna do some cutting. Um, so this is the long side. We have two sections over here and one section over here. So let's start with the side that has two sections. We are going to, cut out, we're gonna cut out these two large rectangles right here on the end, okay? Then we're gonna cut out this one right here. This is like plain Tetris. Then we're gonna do these two sections right here and this one right here, okay? So let me put that down so you can see. Okay, see that? Now I want you to cut in right here and right here. So these are little flaps. Then I want you to cut those little flaps in half. Just cut it off. Don't worry, you don't need to measure. It's just to tuck into the box. And then I want you to just cut off the corners, okay, of those. And I'll set it down so you can look at it in just a second. Now I also want you to cut the corners off of this right here too. This is gonna make your box close really well. Well, if I can make my scissors work, there we go. Okay, so I'll set it down again so you can look at it. Okay, does that make sense? Now down here, we're gonna cut off the right square like that and then just cut each of these up to the score line. All right, so these are just flaps. This is the side flap right here, and I'm gonna cut the corners off of that too. All right, let's look at it. Sometimes when I watch re replays, I stop it when they, so that I can look and see what it looks like. That's what it looks like, all right? Okay, now, adhesive. Taran tape, I did it again. Something about this fast fuse, I don't know. Okay, we're using tear and tape. Oh, fast fuse, you've disappointed me. It's trying to make the, the separation easier for me is what it's doing. In case you don't know, fast fuse retired. It's been a year and I'm still working through my stockpile because I love it. All right, I put adhesive straight across and I'm gonna fold in those two and it should just line right up. Okay, with the other side, we've made this box. Now, these little funky flaps at the top are the top peak part where we're gonna fold it closed. But down here, these are the flaps that we want to stay secure. So I'm gonna fold all three of them in. And hello, everybody. Oh yes, Mary, you heard Charlie. Charlie loves to scratch and shake his head. And that was definitely him that you heard. That's why he cannot sleep with us <laughs> because he's about, 10 times a middle of the night he stands up and does that. So he sleeps with his brother in the kennel. He would love to sleep with us. He loves my husband, but I'm sorry. 
He just cannot. Okay, so let's see. Rhesus, fold in, fold that. Why is that sticking out? Let me fold that down. And, hmm, didn't do that the other way. There we go, okay. Now these little flaps just fold in. We're not gonna adhere them. Yay, it worked. Okay, phew. I don't like doing this without practicing. Now this paper, look, I'm giving you a sneak peek. There it is, that's that magnolia paper. And I noticed today when I was taking pictures of that magnolia tree, there was a lot of that. I kept looking and wondering why they were pink. Was there pink magnolias? Well, today I noticed as it was kind of drying up that flower, it was turning that color. Uh, maybe there are pink magnolias, but I was wondering um, specifically why they were color colored like that on the paper. So this piece is from Magnolia Lane, designer series paper, and it measures, what did I say? Mm, it's wrong. Nope, I'm looking at the wrong one, that's why. Oh, it didn't even show up on here. I know I put it. Two and a fourth by five and seven eighths, I believe. All right, now let's stamp our wood slice, and I'm going to need a piece of paper right here, and we're gonna use where did the wood slice go? There he is. This is the second largest stitched circle. Not the biggest one, the second biggest one. And I'm gonna do something kind of weird. I'm gonna take it and lay it on there because I could not get it centered. So I'm just gonna lay it on like that. All right. Now the stamparatus would help with that. Hmm, look at that circle in there. That's weird. I didn't do that the first time. Let's try the back side, because I think I did it on the back side last time. Let's see what that looks like. Another thing you can do, once you have it on there, is you can actually flip it over, because it's stuck. There we go. That is better. That is better. So stamp on the back of the stitch circle. All right, we have a lovely, who remembers what it's called? Stitched nested label. And we have a little baby one, he's so cute. And what else do we need? Right now we're gonna, hmm, we don't need anything else but the stamp. The tree, let's get our markers back out. I'm gonna use Mossy Meadow and Early Espresso again. These are from the neutrals. Um, You know, if your child has a male teacher, sometimes sending treats to male teachers is hard, but this would be a good one to send to a male teacher. A female teacher too, but I'm just saying, you know, sometimes our stuff is more girly and this would be good. All right, so there we go. Early Espresso, Mossy Meadow, On Whisper White. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Now let's bring over the big shot. What time is it? Oh, all right, I'm getting close, getting close. And framelits, framelits, framelits. Do y'all see them? <laughs> Here they are. I know I'm not the only one that crafts like this with stuff everywhere. I start out so organized, but then everything is everywhere. I know I'm not the only one. So you guys can laugh, but. I know you do it too. All right, there we go. Put that frame up there so I don't lose it. Now, I'm gonna show you another sneak peek product that is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of funny the way I used it. The new In Color ribbons look like this and they are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, they come in five, the five different In Colors, but, on the back, it's just that linen color, so that's what I'm gonna use. You can see the blue a little bit, but not enough to bother me. I kind of liked it, because I actually laid it down on here first like this, and I kind of liked it, but then I thought, well, no, let's just stick with the greens. So I'm gonna stick that there. It's called Scalloped Linen Ribbon. Cut it at an angle, just a little bit bigger than our nested, whatever it's called, st <laughs> stitch nested, stitch nested labels. All right, let's see. A couple of dimensionals, 
put our wood slice there and let's stamp the sentiment in crumb cake just for you i like that sentiment a lot because it can be for anything right anything on the little baby label oh good shannon that makes me feel better you know i try to clean up frequently because i get like i lose my creativity if it's too messy i can't i can't even like function so every day i spend some time really just kind of cleaning up after myself all right so there we have it it looks like i put it off centered this time how's that gonna look oh yeah i think that's all right now i'm gonna show you remember that ribbon i said had a weird name that magnolia lane um ribbon combo pack here it is it has another piece in it and that's it right here it's this linen i don't know linen thread is what it looks like but it's that dark green so we're going to use that as our bow and then we are done for today but i actually have things planned for tomorrow and sunday not lives but videos i will post them on youtube and on my blog midday i'm not going to commit i don't know exactly what time but i'll let you guys know on facebook when they're up so that wow how did i end up with three of these um so that you will have six different ways to use your rooted in nature stamp set all right and there we have it you guys we made it we did it all four projects now i'm going to lay them all out so you can see them together and i'm going to show you the other two projects as well let me get all this ink out of the way and I will tell you one more time what I am offering and I apologize to those of you who've been here from the beginning because you're probably tired of hearing me say it so rooted in nature is my product this week and if you place an order minimum $30 between now and Monday night using the host code I'm gonna send you a make and take kit for each of these okay you'll have three cards and the little chocolate box um, now, if you decide to order Rooted in Nature, either the stamp set or you're going to bump it up to the bundle, I will also send you a bolt of the linen, braided linen trim. Now, the make and take offer ends Monday at midnight, but that braided linen trim goes through June 3rd. So anytime you want to order it, maybe you got to wait so you get paid, whatever. If you order it by June 3rd, I'll be watching my orders and I will be shipping that to you for free. Um, now, the other two cards I showed you earlier. Here's this one. That video will be on Sunday. And this fun window slider, pull slider window, whatever you want to call it, that video will be coming tomorrow. All right. What do you guys think? Can you see it all? I can't really see. Let me see. Move that over. Look, it's like a whole class. I said today, oh my gosh, I designed a whole class for Facebook Friday. Six projects. Yay. Okay. Now, let's see. I saw a question with a piece off center with a great if you turn the box horizontally. You know what, Laurie? I thought about that um, when I first started designing this. I couldn't decide if I wanted the box to be long or upright. And I decided to go with upright because I do a lot of long boxes. So it's just trying to be a little bit different, but yeah, you could, you could totally just turn it like that. Ooh, look at that. All right. All right. I kind of do like that better. Hmm. Good eye there, Laurie. Thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. Um, what else did you guys, your hubby loves Reese's too, Mary. Yeah, I know. I think that's our downfall, both of us, but him especially. Oh, well, thank you everybody for joining me today. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I You can go over to pinkbuckaroo.com right now. Mary, you're saying I hit the bad batch of fast fuse. You know, I wondered about that because um, I didn't have any bad fast fuse and now I've been doing that. I didn't know if it was because it was old or if it was the bad batch. That's interesting. Okay, anyways, I will see you guys next Friday. It won't be live on Tuesday. We've got way too many end-of-the-year stuff going on. 
this week. So it'll just be Friday, most likely next week at the same time, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. And I really appreciate you guys joining me. I hope that I inspired you to order Rooted in Nature. And you'll have all kinds of things to make with it. You guys have a wonderful afternoon and a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you next Friday. Thanks so much. Bye.